In this video, we are going to solve problems of chapter 6 that is lines and angles of class 9th. So let's continue with the first one. Given AB and CD are two intersecting lines such that the sum of angle AOC and BOE equals 70 degree. It is also given that angle BOD equals 40 degree. We need to find the value of angle BOE and the reflex of angle COE. From figure angle AOC equals 40 degree as vertically opposite angles are equal. Using equation number 1, angle BOE equals 70 minus angle AOC, which is simplified as 70 minus 40 degree, which is equal to 30 degree. To find reflex of angle COE, we need to find angle COE. From figure, the sum of angle AOC, angle COE, and angle BOE equals 180 degree, as angles on the same straight line forms 180 degree. Using equation number 1, the value of angle AOC and angle BOE equals 70 degree, therefore angle COE becomes 180 minus 70 degree which is simplified as 110 degree. As complete angle measures 360 degree, therefore to find reflex of angle COE, angle COE is subtracted from 360 degree which is equal to 250 degree. Moving on to the next problem. The problem states that angle POY equals 90 degree and the ratio of angle A and angle B equals 2 ratio Let three. the number required for the simplification of this ratio be x. Therefore value of A becomes 2x and value of B becomes 3x. From figure the sum of angle A, angle B and angle POY equals 180 degree as these are angles formed on the same straight line. On putting the value of angle A and B as 2x and 3x, we get sum of 2x and 3x equals 180 minus 90 degree which is equal to 5x equals 90 degree. On transposing we get x as 90 divided by 5 which is simplified as 18 degree. Now putting the value of x as 18 we get the value of a as 36 and value of b as 54. Also the sum of angle c and b equals 180 degree as adjacent angles formed on a straight line forms linear pair. On simplifying this equation for angle c we get 180 minus 54 which is equal to 126 degree. Moving on to the third problem. The problem states that in triangle PQR, angle PQR equals angle PRQ, that is angle 1 equals angle 2. We need to prove that angle PQS equals PRT, that is angle 3 equals angle 4. From figure, the sum of angle 1 and angle 3 equals 180 degree, as adjacent angles formed on the straight line forms linear pair. Similarly, the sum of angle 2 and angle 4 also equals 180 degree, as adjacent angles on the straight line forms linear pair. Using the axiom, that is, things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another. Therefore, from equation 1 and 2, sum of angle 1 and angle 3 equals sum of angle 2 and angle 4. As angle 1 equals angle 2, hence they cancel out each other, so angle 3 equals angle 4. Hence, angle PQS equals angle PRT. Moving on to the next one. It is given that the sum of angle X and Y equals sum of angle W and Z. We need to prove that AOB is a line, that is, sum of angle X and Y equals 180 degree or the sum of angle W and Z equals 180 degree. From figure, the sum of all the angles that is X, Y, Z and W equals 360 degree as they form complete angle. Using equation number 1, sum of W and Z can be written as sum of X and Y. On simplifying, we get twice of angle X and Y equals 360 degree. On further simplification, the sum of X and Y becomes 180 degree. As the sum of angle X and Y equals W and Z, this result can also be proved as sum of W and Z equals 180 degree. Moving on to the next problem. This problem is one of the most important problem from XI 6.1. The problem states that POQ is a line and ray OR is perpendicular to line segment PQ. We need to prove angle ROS is half of angle QOS minus POS. In order to solve proving problems, focus on the angles that are required in the proving. From figure, ROS is a part of angle QOS. Therefore, QOS can be written as the sum of angle ROS and QOR. As angle QOR equals 90 degree, therefore angle QOS becomes ROS plus 90 degree. Now from equation 1, we have one of the two angles that are required in the proving, that is angle ROS and angle QOS. Now angle POS is a part of angle POR. As the sum of angle POR and QOR equals 180 degree, as adjacent angles on the straight line forms linear pair. Therefore angle POR equals 180 minus 90 degree, which is simplified as 90 degree. From figure, angle POR is the sum of angle POS and angle ROS. As angle POR equals 90 degree, therefore this equation becomes 90 equals the sum of of angle POS and ROS. Now putting the value of 90 as 
angle POS plus angle ROS in equation number 1 we get angle QOS equals the sum of angle ROS, angle POS and angle ROS. On simplification we get angle QOS minus angle POS equals twice of angle ROS. On transposing we get angle ROS equals half of angle QOS minus angle POS. Hence the problem is proved. Moving on to the next problem. The problem states that angle XYZ equals 64 degree and XY is produced to point P. Also Ray Q bisects angle Z by P that is angle 1 equals angle 2. We need to find the value of angle XYQ and the reflex of angle QYP. From figure the value of angle XYQ equals 64 plus angle 2. Since the sum of angle 1, angle 2 and angle XYZ equals 180 degree as these are angles formed on the same straight line. Since angle 1 equals angle 2, therefore twice of angle 2 equals 180 minus 64. On further simplification, angle 2 becomes 116 divided by 2 which is equal to 58 degree. Using equation number 1, angle XYQ equals 64 plus 58 which is equal to 122 degree. As angle XYQ equals angle QYP, therefore reflex of angle QYP equals 360 minus 58 which is equal to 302 degree. So this was it for the video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.